Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Emmerdale viewers have been eager to see Kim Tate get her comeuppance and although Will Taylor might attempt to stop her, an unexpected villager might choose to intervene in their argument. Since Will Taylor, played by Dean Andrews, had an affair with Rose Jackson and left his wife Kim, Claire King, terrified, the spouses have been at odds with one another. However, things changed when she chose to use blackmail as a form of punishment, fooling him into excavating his own grave. Tensions increased this Tuesday, September 24, 2024, during the visit to the ITV village when Kim revealed to Will that she had moved on with her financial advisor. Following a fight between the two men that resulted in Will bleeding from his nose, Kim offered Will a helping hand. Nevertheless, he poured gasoline to the fire when he realized she was asking him to leave home farm, and Kim was able to win back Don Fletcher's, Olivia Bromley, approval by agreeing to bury the hatchet, knowing that Kim was prepared to put poison in Don's ear, Will became enraged. In yet another irrational decision, he went to Caleb Milligan, Will Ash, for assistance in his endeavors to overthrow Kim and inherit his father Frank's farm, home farm. However, a third villager might be inclined to exact revenge on Kim directly. When Dawn Fletcher learned that her mother Rose, Christine Tremarco, had left the Yorkshire Dales, she became dissatisfied and started questioning Kim and Will. Even though it seems like she's forgiven Kim for pushing Rose away, is she planning to exact revenge on her? In this case, Dawn might bring her family back to home farm and form a cohesive front with Kim against a womanizing and dishonest Will. Unexpectedly, though, she might then take revenge on Rose and eliminate Kim the way she sees fit. Some admirers have been eager to witness Kim's demise on social media, with one posting on Monday, I would actually love it if we got all of Home Farm from Kim. I think Kim wins way too much. She requires some of her own medication. However, a different viewpoint contends that she might be her own accomplice. One Reddit user who was watching the soap opera questioned, there's no way Kim would get her hands dirty, so who dug the hole and carried the coffin etc? Another fan said, I think it was Billy. Kim handed him the bundle of notes Don had discovered. Someone another said, I believe it was Billy. Could he be on opposite sides, facing his own wife? Recently, Kim Tate's life on Emmerdale has been a complete chaos. Like a hurricane, Rose Jackson caused massive damage at home farm, and Kim is still slowly putting the pieces back together. Kim was really outraged to learn that Rose and Will had slept together, so she took amazing revenge by tricking Will into thinking someone was threatening to reveal this secret about Rose to Kim. He was lying flat on his back in a coffin in the woods with Kim towering triumphantly over him when he realized that Kim had been the one behind the blackmail the entire time. The two have been placed against one another ever since. After Kim had an affair with her financial advisor, Will became enraged and paid Carrie to pretend that they had had a sexual encounter as payback. Not unexpectedly, Kim practically sent him packing when he later attempted to persuade her to reconsider their marriage. Will begged her to change her mind, but she refused. And Will's attitude hardened at that moment as battle lines were set between the couple, and this decision marked a turning point in Will's life. With Will's departure, Home Farm feels incredibly empty. Dawn was upset with Kim and Will's treatment of her mother, Rose, and she had already moved out with Billy and their kids. Before that, Gabby and Thomas had moved in with Laurel since Evan, Dawn and Billy's son, as leukemia and having more people in the house made it more likely for Evan to get sick. Kim, by herself in the mansion, decides to beg Gabby to return to home farm. Kim has missed Gabby as well as having her grandson Thomas around. Will and Caleb have begun to conspire to bring her down, so she's going to need all the allies she can get in the near future. Will Gabby provide the help she requires? Furthermore, how will Kim feel about Vinnie Dingle, Bradley Johnson, Gabby's new boyfriend, visiting home farm? Because of the football, Emmerdale's schedule will be drastically altered the next week. UEFA Nations League Live, featuring England against Greece, will replace the popular ITV soap opera, which will disappoint fans hoping to watch it on Thursday. October 10.IT will be remembered by viewers that Emmerdale usually airs on weekdays at 7.30pm, with an hour-long special on Thursdays. But the football will take the hour-long special slot on Thursday of next week. The change in the schedule coincides with a number of highly charged stories on Emmerdale, including a major Bell Dingle and Tom King twist that aired on Tuesday night, according to Leeds Live. 
It wasn't until lately that Belle used an axe to defend herself against the nasty Tom, who had been abusing her for months. Tom said to the police that everything was just a blank and that he was unable to identify the perpetrator. On Tuesday night, though, Tom promised Belle that even though her accusations of his mistreatment of her were true, he would not report her to the police as the aggressor in the attack. Tom tried to gaslight Belle, and when he kept threatening her, it seemed as though Belle was complying with his scheme, particularly when he asked for a cheek kiss and gave her a disgusting twist to his lips. At the hospital later, Tom told the police a falsehood, saying he had never seen the two random males who had attacked him, but at the conclusion of the show, Bell went to the police and turned in the weapon, telling them the truth, before launching an explosive bombshell. As the explosive episode came to a close, Bell bravely revealed, I've attacked my husband in self-defense, he wanted to kill me, I'm a victim of domestic abuse. Actress Lisa Riley of Emmerdale has discussed whether or not she want to carry on playing Mandy Dingle. The actor returned to the ITV serial opera in 2019 after playing Mandy from 1995 to 2001. She stated in an interview with the Irish Sun that she had no immediate intentions to depart. I still love being in Emmerdale and, yes, of course I'd love to stay, she stated. I never consider anything to be given. You are only as good as your last scene, is something I've always said. Emily R. Dingle, M.D., I really adore this place, even though I didn't plan to return. Emmerdale is the best therapy there is for anyone in life, and being a Dingle is very unique. The fact that new Dingles are emerging in the form of Danny Miller, Bradley Johnson, and Eden Taylor Draper is what she said she was most proud of. We all never know how long we have got and it makes me the happiest ever knowing the Dingles will live on for many more years to come. Emily R. Dingle, M.D. Riley outlined the two essential components of being a Dingle family while discussing the fundamental aspects of the Dingle clan, love and loyalty. We need the tent pole to stay upright, and without one, you most likely won't be one of my friends either. Furthermore, she expressed her belief that Mandy will never get rid of her leopard prince even as she ages, a sentiment that we're sure her followers wouldn't disagree with. Twinny Lee Moore, a former Hollyoaks star, debuted on Emmerdale in a few unsettling scenes alongside Billy Fletcher. It was revealed earlier this week that Moore had been cast as Billy's desperate attempt to get additional money for his family, that is, as unlicensed boxing promoter Jade. Billy has been hiding from his wife Dawn that he has been participating in underground fights, even though he has been putting himself at danger of being discovered after sustaining multiple injuries. Billy had to make a tough choice in Friday's, October 11th, episode over whether or not to disclose to his wife Dawn how he had been making money. Emmerdale, Billy, J. Consul, Twinnie Lee Moore. He explained away his injuries by saying he was struck in the face by a client, which knocked him into some exercise equipment. Later, as Dawn broke up Billy and the enigmatic Jade's conversation by the road, the boxing promoter pretended that she might be a possible client. But Jade hinted to Billy that she would get what she desired from him. Billy, Mackenzie cautioned, was digging himself a hole by misleading Dawn. Billy had been to Mac's door earlier in the week, beaten and bloodied, pleading for medical attention. Twinny, Emmerdale Lee Moore, Jade Billy later had to tell Don that he was short on cash and couldn't pay their bills. Billy went looking for Jade when Don asked him why everything had to go wrong for them. Billy inquired, what was that you said about an offer I can't refuse, during an enigmatic phone call? Moore, who portrayed Portia McQueen in Hollyoaks, made hints earlier this week that her character Jade will cause a stir on the ITV1 serial opera. I've loved being back on screen, especially as the show is shot in Yorkshire, being able to be home with family and go to work on such an iconic show has been nothing short of amazing, the actress and singer stated. Everyone on the team has been incredibly friendly and helpful. I'm really enjoying playing my character, and I'm excited to see how the public responds to her.